loves you. He loves you. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves you. Listen, what we get ready to do is we get ready to open up this entire atmosphere with worship see what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everyone to get a worship ribbon now everyone that is saying well what are you doing with mother of God what's going on what, 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 what is that what is that what is that we're following the guidelines see outside in the parking lot there are people some of them are in their car with the windows rolled up and some of them, you know, they're just saying, just leave me here. I just have to be in the presence of unity. See, the word of God says in the presence of unity, you could command the blessings of God. And so right now we don't find ourselves any different than anyone else. We are doing what, you know, we've got to do to be saved. But God said, let them open up their mouths and worship me. And watch what I do. It's being in the presence of unity. that You have no idea that God can command the blessings of God right in the middle of this mess. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to follow the guidelines. See, look. Look, watch me. How do I look? Am I okay? I'm going to follow the guidelines. Look. See, See, you don't even hear them outside. Heal the nation. Heal the nation, God. 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 Speak 
to the government. Speak to the government. Heal the nation, God. Those that are mourning, God. Drop the shadow of the Sokosana. Drop the Sokonia Sakosa. Drop God Sandia Sokonia Saha. Drop Sandia Sokonia Saha. Drop the cases, God, the Gosonia Saha. Discharge the people, Sonia Saha. Have mercy on this nation, the Gosonia Saha. Show the miracle signs of wonders, God. God have mercy on this nation, God. God have mercy on this nation, oh God. God have mercy on this nation, oh God. Discharge the people out the hospital. Declining cases. We are here, God. Gathering in unity. The very thing that you commanded. The government said it's killing us. Satan, you a liar, Shakosa. You a liar, Shenadeka Shokosa Kasa. You a liar, Shakandiasa. You shall not make a mockery out of God. Oh go shit. I declare and I decree. A shift. And now this nation is subject to the power and the faith of God. So the fire God that will consume this plague, this disease. I stand in faith that you can do it. Bask in that. Bask in it. Bask in it. Bask in this atmosphere. Bask in this atmosphere. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. Hear the hearts of those that lost. Release in the name of Jesus. Discharge from the hospital. God dispatch the angels on behalf of this nation. Dispatch the angels on behalf of America. Dispatch the angels, Lord God. Around the world doing this pandemic. God, you can. Hear me. I believe God. I believe God. I am a woman of crazy faith. I am a woman from Brooklyn by way of Brick City, Newark, that believes God. And I know what the government says. It gets your cut out. But God said, I got shook. If my people will humble themselves and seek my face, then I'm a woman of crazy faith. I've seen the miracle signs and wonders of God. Watch God. The government is calling on the man that they threw out the church. The government is calling the man they threw out the schools. You mean to tell me that a Satanist had the audacity to put a bathman in the middle of an arena, but yet and still we can't serve God? We're following the guidelines, but we're here in the presence of unity for this nation. And if every believer would get on one accord, instead of sowing seeds of discords, of what you're doing and what you ain't doing, you'll see God. He didn't get up for a grave. He did not get up from the grave for nothing. Miracle signs and wonders. 
shall follow you. If you just get on one accord, hear me. I'm going to speak with you really quickly and then we're going to get out of here. I want you to start a watch party right now because someone needs to hear this. I do not need accolades. I do not need fame or fortune. The only thing my desire is, is to please God. Call me a radical, call me whatever you choose. I am God's servant girl. I thank God for everyone that made their way. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you to Unity Church Charlotte Car Chronicles Movement, to my praise and worship team, to my musicians, to a few of the gatekeepers, to you that are in your cars. Could you do me a favor and honk your horns? If you're in your car, just honk your horns. Okay. So that's how we're going to do this. See there? We're in the spirit of unity. Thank you. They have their windows rolled up. They have on their masks. And they're doing what thus said the Lord. But right now, I got to do something. I got to kill a snake. I like to say by way of Jacksonville, Florida, thank God for my soon-to-be future apostle Fred D. Gooden III and divine influence. I know y'all doing with thus said the Lord, but I'm going to show and tell y'all this. God has given me a word for this house, and I'm going to do what thus said the Lord, and we're going to do what we got to do. Those of you that are outside, when you hear something that drops in your spirit, feel free to honk your horn at any given time. See, we have something here at Unity Church Charlotte called unity shenanigans and we usually have you know we jumping over the pews and leaping over stuff so we in the parking lot right now so when you hear them honk they horn that's unity shenanigans going on amen hear me i want you to go with me really quickly to the book of matthews that's right y'all come on y'all know how we do unity church i want you to go to matthews and let me give you what thus said the lord i want to say watch god watch him he sees he cares and he knows it I want you to go with me to Matthew the 28th. Allow me to read for you because I'm going to read with an understanding that God has given me a very unique way to read his word. After the Sabbath at dawn, on the first day of the week, what day are we on? Sunday, right? It is the what? First day of the week. Okay, here we go. And so the first day of the week, this chick named Mary Magdalene. Uh-huh. There you go. Thank you, Unity Church. Thank you, Car Chronicles. And the other Mary went and looked at the tomb. They looked at the tomb. There was a violent quaking in the earth. Give me a violent quaking in the earth, Josh and Mike. A violent quake among the earth. A violent quake. I'm on the earth. Child, you can't tell me this pandemic is not a violent shaking upon the earth. And so, hear me. Yeah, we're in the book on the first day of the month, Sunday, with a violent quake in the earth. Oh, what better time is it than now? The violent pandemic was in the earth. Huh? And what happened was an angel of the Lord came down from heaven. And they went to go to the tomb these angels went to the tomb this is what happened roll back the tomb and they sat on it so god sent the angels to roll back the stone and sat right on top of it his appearance these angels were like lightning uh -huh. give me some lightning somebody it was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow uh-huh there we go they were guarding the tomb and something happened when two guards came to confront the tomb. They were afraid. They were afraid of the angels and they looked at them and, and they were shook. It was almost like dead men. Huh? Uh, dead folks, just like they over in New York digging potter's tomb just like it's a whole lot of dead folks seem like doing this earth shaking quaking situation and they were there afraid looking scared like dead men and the angel said to the women that came Shh, don't, don't, don't be afraid for I, I know you're looking for jesus isn't it funny eh? oh, God, uh, that God knows what you want before you open your mouth? Huh? Yeah, God, uh, God, uh. Thank you, parking lot. 
You're looking for Jesus, the one who was crucified. <laughs> Hear me. You, 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 he ain't here. that's not even here okay well well what I heard was that he died what I heard was that you had a pandemic going on what I heard was is you lost your job what I heard was is that your marriage was falling apart what I heard was is you suffered a depression what I heard was is you started drinking and smoking again people always run to what they think they know don't they thank you parking lot we ain't here oh my ladies let me just go back in the day Josh remember before there were cell phones you had to go see your boo especially if mama locked up the phone when she went to work especially if she put that little lock on it you had to run to the projects or wherever he was or wherever she was and you had to go to the house simply for his little sister to come to the door and say he ain't here it's frustrating see people are running with an expectancy that's why they watching the believers I want to know if this God you serve can come through alright so here, here. Okay, well uh, he has risen what he has risen just like he said hold on I know you come here watching me huh? God gonna do just what he said huh? God gonna deliver me from this mess he gonna do what he said huh? God gonna turn my morning into dance he's a comforter even though I lost the one huh? God gonna do what he said he's a provider he's gonna do what he said you ain't got no time to shake my faith and rattle me with fear God gonna do what he said hear me online God is going to do exactly what he said. You don't hear me. But, but, but I lost someone. Hold on. God's still going to do what he said. What he said, I'm going to give you a comforter. God going to do what he said. Hold on. I lost my job. Watch the way maker. God going to do what he said. He said, "Lo, I am with you. Even to the end of the earth and the bottom of this pandemic, I'm with you. Hear me. He said, I'm going to do what I said he come we came to see the place where he laid I want to see where Jesus was folks want to see if you worse off than what they say people want to see it's cancer written in your body like it say it's lupus it's real. hold on are you losing your mind in this I want to see it it's not the fact that some folks is nosy, Josh, because some people really are. They on the timeline looking and pointing and talking. They tagging your stuff. Oh, incognito they are. They're coming and they're looking, but some folks got an expectation because of the life you live. They know that you're a faith walker. I want to see if this faith walk that she is and he is walking is real. And so they came to the tomb with an expectation. Watch this. He is not here. He came to the place to see where he lay. Then quickly, he said, go. Tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead and is going ahead of you to Galilee. Watch your mind. See, folks is watching us now. The Bible said that Nathan said, could anything, any good thing come from Nazareth? 
Why did Jesus go to Galilee? Let me help you. Listen to me. Nathan said, can any good thing come from Nazareth? North. North. North of Nazareth is Galilee. They want to know if you really can make it. They really want to know, can any good thing come out the ghetto? Hold on, government. You want to know if any good thing can come from them black folks that believe in this mystical God? Can any good thing come out of this pandemic? Bless you, brother. You understand God? Can any good thing come from this pandemic? Come on. Come on. They're watching. I want to see your faith. Can any good thing come from Galilee? Can any good thing come out the hospital? Can any good thing come from the street? They ran with an expectation that there's got to be something good coming out of this. Hear me. Can anything, any good thing come from all of this debt? Can any good thing come from all of these layoffs? Can any good thing come out of this mess? son how you doing hear me Jesus is risen from the dead he said there what you gonna do is you gonna see him work <laughs> he going to where yeah he going for a purpose he, he could have went anywhere he could have went to see the blind man of Barnabas he could have went to where the lepers were he could have went to the ah, he could have went to him he could have went to his mama he could have went to, he said i'm going where folks don't believe watch this what's up hater i'm going to the place where people didn't believe that you had the scruples to make it i'm going to going to follow all haters yeah I'm going to let you see what God is doing okay here we go there you will see me and now I'm going to do what I've told you okay may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word I want you to click tag and share have a watch party and tell them that God said to tell you after all of this I promise you I'm going to get up Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? How you doing? You got to understand what God has said. He said, after all of this, I'm going to promise you something. I'm going to get up. Come on, nation. What God is saying is, there's a reason I allow them to afflict me. There's a reason I allow these things to happen. Because I've got something to show you. i got to show you that not only a good thing is coming out of Nazareth, I'm a man of my word. And I'm going to do exactly what I said when all of this is over I shall be your provider when all of this is over I'm going to show you by the stripes of my back you were healed when all is said and done I'm getting up just like I promise you have you ever had somebody break a promise to you yeah everybody got a broken heart at some point in time in their life have you ever had somebody break a promise child by you home with all your kids the teacher got a good break they weren't as nice as they said she was have you ever made a promise to your kids that you gonna play xbox in about five minutes child ain't gonna let you forget and god said through this pandemic i ain't gonna let you forget that i'm the promise keeper i ain't gonna let you forget that i'm gonna take your money and turn it to dance 
you forget that I'm the provider. Watch me work because I'm going to get up from here and do what I say. What's up? How you doing? You better now? Good. Welcome to Unity Church. Come back. Hear me. You don't even understand. God said that after all of this, when you ain't got no job, you gonna get one. That after all of this, it's sad and done. When you ain't had no health care, you gonna go get it. After all the sad and done. Hold on. Most of us, you wouldn't get up. Yo, yo, if Fred was here, we had tag team this. Hey God, he had talked to the brothers because she was trying to get you to get up off the couch. After this, watch you get four and five jobs. Hey God, your child wouldn't do right. But after this, watch you get up, get out and get something. Because after this, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I want to show y'all something. Huh? Because this is what? Huh? Resurrection Sunday. Huh? And it is a time huh? when Jesus Christ huh? rose from the dead. Huh? But see what they don't tell you. Huh? He wasn't the only one. Oh, what y'all scared? I ain't scared of a challenge. In fact, I like them. I want you to understand something. <laughs> Hold on, I'm licking my own fingers in my own Bible. All of you people. Okay. I want you to know something. <laughs> because the Bible said this. <laughs> he said in Matthew 27, <laughs> go all the way down in 51. <laughs> he said, at the moment, <laughs> the curtain ripped <laughs> up and down. <laughs> the veil was torn <laughs> from top to bottom. <laughs> Give me the earth shaking music please the earth began to shake the rock spit at the tomb it broke open hold on watch this Shh. be quiet let me blow your mind and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised up oh they forgot that one which lets me know if I am my father and he resides in me I get up too ha! no 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 but he got up with all power in his hand and so when we as a nation and as a people broken or not get it in your spirit that when God gets up we get up too. That's why he said, when all of this is over, I promise you, we all gonna get up. Oh, 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 brothers, you gonna get up. I got shit. Oh, hold on. You want to able to open a business? Watch when this is over. You gonna get up. You want not allowed to make multiple streams of income, but you gonna get up now. Oh, sister. Oh, sister, you was doing it by yourself. Uh, 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 uh. We gonna get up somewhere. We wish we had Obamacare. But now, as a nation, we gonna, we gonna get up. Understand? Meek, meek. If they would just trust God. Tiffany, what's up, son? Thank you for that. Hear me. Fantasia next. Hold on, hold on. You don't even understand that when God says that I'm getting up from this tomb, he specifically said there is no reason for me to be stuck in a dead situation when all this is over. That dead situation you was connected to. Bam! Wave in the far, far. All they gonna hear is God, please don't hit me no more. He gonna step on the head of a serpent and get you disconnected to everything dead. Cause when he get up, we we get up too. Yeah. We get.
get up too. <laughs> they came to the tomb with an expectation. Tell your haters what you think. I just am I doing? Fred, do better than me. Some of you, you ain't gonna like my verbiage. You're gonna pip wake you. Pip walk your way. Because you know brothers got swag. You're supposed to. You're gonna pip walk your way into a miracle. Because that goes out. Because they don't already counted you out. You ain't had nothing there. And she talked about you like a dog. Slept with a whole bunch of... It's some nasty women out here too. You ain't exempt. But God said when I get up, he get up too. You're going to be sorry you mistreated him. Huh, God? You're going to be... Okay. And so you're going to walk by like... Say what? You're your sons? Trying to tell them to get rid of that nasty girl. See, because God is doing a new thing. See, uh, uh, girl, see they, they, they get it in the parking lot. See, when God is doing a new thing, he got to shake up an old thing. So what he's doing, it was the rumbling. It was the rumbling. It was the rumbling. The rumbling signifies I'm shaking some old stuff up to present you a new glorified life. And God said, nations shall tremble. God said with the rumbling, tradition shall be no more. With the rumbling, I'm ripping the veil top to bottom. With the rumbling, death has no sting. With the rumbling, Get up too when this is all over. I promise you, I'm getting up and getting out of here. Hold on. I'm gonna trust God. I'm gonna trust God. I ain't got nothing else. And you mean to tell me you're gonna shake my faith? The only faith that I know. Hold on. Let me be. Can I head up? I'm sorry. social distance go pass him a tissue I'm gonna show you something I'll tell you something the Bible said 
Watch this. When God says that he going to do what he, listen to me. Go ahead and give God your tears, brother. Because God cares for the men too. He got you here. You better trust God. You hear me? Everything you need, listen to him. God going to instruct your ears by Wednesday. Write it down. Everything I say, you need to do it. By Wednesday, you're going to get a phone call. And the phone call going to give you everything that you need concerning your life. Trust him. Hear me. When God says that the only thing you need right now during this pandemic, you do what they say. You do. But God said you got to operate your faith. Let me blow your mind for a moment. The Roman soldiers. Ah! The Roman soldiers that persecuted him had more faith than some believers. Andia. You want me to show it to you? Okay. The Bible says this. It says it in the 27th chapter. Go all the way down to 65. When the Lord showed me this, it blew my mind. Because people are always talking about he risen. It's deeper than that. He was still performing miracle signs and wonders even on the cross. The Roman soldiers and the government. The government believed God. Why do you think they asking us to call on the man? I'm going to blow y'all's mind. Do you know that little EMS thing with the snake wrapped around the stick? They got that from the Bible. Hold on. I'm going to put up something later. I ain't going to be deep. But I'm going to make y'all think. The corona. Hold on. Get that little thing in my phone. Go get my, eye. Go get my droid. That little thing that Fred said. If you take another picture of this thing, we're going to have a problem. There's a little seed. Y'all walk by every day. It looks just like the coronavirus. Just like it. Just like it. You see it? It's probably in that phone that you got, Dylan. I'm going to put it up for you. They watch and mimic everything biblical. I walk by this thing doing my workout, trying to lose some weight. And I stopped and I said, oh my gosh, this thing looked just like the coronavirus. And I held it up and I put the picture of it that the, the government said, this is what it is. I said, well, I'll be done. You got to understand that God, this, he, he saw this coming. He saw it. And this, he was an innocent man. Did you know? People always talk about he is risen. The Bible speaks about potter's field. Read it. The Bible speaks about potter's field. Read the whole scripture. Matthews 28, go to the 27. Read both scriptures. It said, to this day. It is April 2020. And the word is still speaking. It said, to this day. They shall call it Potter's Field. Over in New York. They are digging a grave. Called Potter's Field. Watch it. And it's a scripture being fulfilled. He is 
real. Never mind he risen. He real. Watch this. The government believed he was so real. Watch this. The government said, take a guard. Pilate answered, go to the tomb and secure it. He said, secure it as tight as you know how. He said, because you've got to secure it. And then when I want you to secure it, put a seal on it. And then put a stone on the post and put two security guards. Why would you do this? And you did not believe he was going to get up. Why would you go through the measure of securing something that a dead person was supposed to be in? If you are not afraid, what y'all said about this man is true. Why would you take double measures to secure something? Because they believe that if there's a possibility that this man named God is real and he got up, the Bible said, and when they came to the tomb and they looked at the linen napkin, it was folded, which indicates I'm finished. And so when all this is over, you just ain't going to get up. Oh God, you're going to be finished. Finished of what, woman of God? I'm going to be done with this toxic relationship. Finished with what? I'm saving money because I ain't going nowhere. Finished frivolous spending. I'm going to be done. I'm finished. Finished what? Finished being an alcoholic. Finished being a crackhead. It's showing us a level of stability that God says you going to get up. But all hell is going to be finished Because I'm going to use every measure To show you that I got all power To answer every problem and proclivity Fold your napkins Come and die enemy See what God is doing It is finished He has risen And I'm getting up to We're getting up. He got up with no intentions on staying there. Some of you ain't never saved money in your life. God said, I'm a t you asked me to teach you to be a good steward over your finances, right? Bet you're learning something now. Ladies, all in. Give me a husband. You don't forgot how to cook. Bet you're cooking now. And cleaning too. you up. I'm the good thing that came out the ghetto. I'm the good thing that came out of a bad situation. And that's what God was saying. He said, I'm the good thing that came out of a bad situation. I'm the good thing that came out of addiction. I'm the good thing that found salvation. 
shit huh? and the good thing that came out of domestic violence huh? and the good thing that came out of foster care huh? and the good thing that was molested huh? and the good thing that was raped huh? and the good thing that was slinging rocks huh? and the good thing that you counted out huh? and the good thing that you said wasn't enough huh? and the good thing that was too skinny huh? and the good thing that was too fat huh? and the good thing that had cancer huh? and the good thing that was healed of coronas huh? you to understand from the parking lot give God your praise uh -huh. they have not seen the best of your days because right now our ladder is better whatever was back there leave it there whatever dropped off leave it check out another ah uh, yeah this pandemic showed you if you had a boo or not uh, you used to see him every day uh, now he MIA uh, God says just hold on uh, you asked me to reveal it didn't you uh, there's so much going on around here uh, but you're too busy uh, just in the wrong source uh, he is my source uh, he is my future uh, he can fix it all uh, he can restore it all uh, my faith uh, is the substance of things hope for and the evidence of things you have yet to see because God chose me to go to Galilee and said I am the good thing and God got up watch me come up now God got up to create your come up God got up uh huh that's right yeah to create your come up man come on okay god got up scratch your case scratch your case scratch your case to create your come up scratch your case scratch your case scratch your case god got up come on y'all come on y'all come on to create your come up yeah that's the little hood in me that's the little hood god got up that's right that's right come on parking lot to create your come up Jesus real young and even in my backsliding stages when I was running amok God had a noose around my neck and said where you going and 
And God said, you ain't going nowhere. Shakana the bus. He said, you ain't going nowhere. Shakana the bus. Listen, God said, you ain't going nowhere. I'm going to chase you down. That bus. The words that your mother spoke over your life, your grandmother, your nana, your daddy. He said, I'm going to put a spiritual noose around your neck. And every time you think you're going to get away, I'm going to pull you back. Because God got up to create your color. Hey, God got up to create your color. God got up. Come on, y'all. To create your color. Happy Easter, y'all. God Resurrection Sunday to create your color. God got up to create your color. God got up to create your color. Do that, y'all. We gon' rise again, y'all. We gon' rise again. We gon' rise again, nation. We gon' rise again. We gon' rise again, even if you lost someone. We gon' rise again as a people. We gon' rise with all power and faith. Cause he came up, we coming up too. Watch him work, watch him work, watch him work. Listen, we're going to get out of here and we get ready to lift our offering. We at Unity Church, we don't take nothing. We honor God. And even if you don't have it, give God your worship. I don't want your rent money, I don't want your mortgage. I don't want your car note. I don't want your bundle money. Because God knows when the salon's open, sugar, you're going to need to get your hair done and your nails done too. But we don't believe in this. God going to curse you with a curse. No, nah, we are blessed children. We are the descendants of Abraham. And we're already blessed. I want you to go to Giblethai. And I want you to please, please allow God to lay it on your heart what to give this ministry. Because even though it is a church, lights gonna come on. Hold on, wait. Remember the time we came in here when it wasn't no lights? Ha! We had church anyway. We and remember that? We was worshiping God in the dark. It was a power outage. Because we will bless him at all times. Honey, let me tell you the parking lot. Let me hear y'all parking lot. Let me hear y'all. Let me hear y'all. Hey. Oh, but when we come together, what a time it's going to be. When Unity Church come together, what a time it's going to be. We got up. God got up. We got up. To create our come up, y'all. We got up. Scratch it, can't we? Uh-huh. To be 